here's something I took a picture of about five years ago, I believe, and it's a retaining wall at the bottom there. You got a sidewalk next to a street with a retaining wall, and uh, someone looks like they poured a layer of cement, concrete, maybe even gunite, over the hillside to prevent any um, further erosion. But I do have to say, and I'd appreciate any comments from anyone out there who knows a little more about soil erosion than I do. If something like this would actually be beneficial or if it'd be better to leave the hillside, put some plants there and uh, maybe put a swale or some type of a drain um, on the top of the, um, right, of, right above the retaining wall, something and then drain the water safely away to the outside. Now there is something else I noticed about the retaining wall is that it doesn't look like it has any holes and the base of it that would uh, allow for any water to drain. So it might not even have a drain drainage system in back of it like most uh, most retaining walls do today. Um, so again, just to kind of recap things here, I don't really know if this is something that's, uh, you know, just kind of like an accident waiting to happen. I've seen these things, actually the dirt underneath them will erode and they will just cave in, they'll collapse. And again, I can't tell you how many times I've removed something like this or watched someone remove something like this and find areas underneath these things uh, between an inch to um, six inches just where the soil's gone. And uh, these things are kind of just like self-supporting themselves. They're not actually on the soil anymore. And something else I noticed is that this has a crack in it. Um, and most concrete will crack if it doesn't have any expansion joints in it. But I don't know if an expansion joint in something like this would be a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing is, is it would allow the concrete to expand a little bit um, without, without cracking like you're looking at here. But at the same time, if you had a control joint and it actually expanded, um, let's just say it expanded, uh, it was an eighth of an inch wide. Um, you could just imagine how much water could actually get into this thing, creating um, even a bigger problem for the erosion and the soil underneath it. So uh, just to recap everything, I'd love to get someone else's input about uh, soil erosion because I've been waiting for this thing to kind of cave in and it hasn't. So if this is something that's good, if it's a good thing, then um, uh, share it with us. If it's a bad thing, then uh, we'd like to know also. And then I could always make another video on that in the future to warn people. Right now, this is not a warning. This is just providing you with another alternative for um, erosion control. And I've seen this quite a bit, like I've said. But uh, at the same time, I've also seen the soil erode underneath something like this on a hillside and the whole section of cement um, rolls down the hillside. I, I doubt if that's going to happen in this case, but if you're planning on doing something like this for erosion control um, on the side of a hillside, then um, realistic wouldn't be a bad idea to get a little more information before actually doing something like that.